Hello, I'm Alan Arkish, and this is Trailers from Hell. We have a serious topic today. What are the three greatest threats to society since the 1950s? Think about it. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. They come after us when we are at our most vulnerable during our high school years. Thank God there are Hollywood producers like Albert Zugsmith to sound the alarm. And that alarm takes place during this important movie that starts with one of those threats, Jerry Lee Lewis invading the high school with his pounding piano rhythms. Imagine that, a rock and roll band right there in the high school playing the title song. That's an idea worth repeating. Well, I digress. Trails from Hell is a ground zero for all teenage hepcats hopped up on hemp in their hot rods. This is the template for so many teen picks to come. It's all there in the title from 1958, High School Confidential. In the interest of truth, High School Confidential is no blackboard jungle. It's based on a true story, and the original title, which is a really good title, was Crazy Mixed Up Kids. But Zuck Smith wanted a straight up exploitation picture and told director Jack Arnold as much when he hired him. Any quality that the movie has is due to the action-packed direction that turns the phony jive-talking script into a demented tour de force. Russ Tamblin plays the most insolent, undercover teenage narc ever, whose need for attention is almost pathological and is the source of much of the camp humor. He uses so much jive talk and slang that it sounds like he's talking another language, which he is. It's so phony, it's hilarious. Mamie Van Doren is Russ's aunt, or, or something like that. It plays like our script pages were lost or edited out of a sequence. Is she a narc or not? It makes no sense. There is an excellent hot rod race, which Jack Arnold brings a lot of excitement to. And there's a lot of uh, beat poetry. In fact, one of the poems is called Life as a Drag Man. There's also a long monologue, which was scheduled to have Lord Buckley shoot. In fact, it's one of his monologues, but he never showed up. So they had one of the actors do it instead. Kids go around jonesing for a stick of grass. There's a uh, sex. There's even a drug kingpin played by Jackie Coogan in Shades called Mr. A. You get the idea. It's all absurd and way over the top. After 85 minutes of fun and mayhem, there's a moralizing sermon that's given as the kids ride around in the back of a car because it seems they've all been cured. They're not drug addicts and they're not the dope fiends and they're not sex addicts. Everything's fine from now on. But thankfully, in the very next scene, Jerry Lee Lewis comes back to sing the title song again. So, to quote the script, why don't we make like some bubble gum and blow? Above another high to high. 